This video is brought to you by Draeger's Classics. <laughs> Driving the 32 back to the clubhouse. Hi, I'm Jerry Drager, Drager's International Classic Sales in Seattle, Washington. We're here at Dreger's Clubhouse where I want to show you this 1932 High Boy. Now this is a little street rod that's really fun to drive. This is a Westcott bodied fiberglass car. It has a turbo, excuse me, not turbocharged, it's fuel injected 302 engine. It was a brand new crate engine. It was installed in 2008. I doubt it's got very many miles on it. It runs really well. It's got a lot of horsepower, especially when you consider the weight ratio on it. Uh, it's got a C6 automatic transmission. It's got a 9-inch Ford rear end in it with a 325, I think, rear end in it. So it just rolls down the road really, really nice. Uh, so I don't know how to explain this hood. But this hood has got to be off like a 32 Chevy or 32 Pontiac or uh, Buick with the louvers on here. Or I shouldn't say louvers, I would say the doors. Uh, so that's a little bit different. Uh, actually, I like the looks of it this way. It's uh, got a clean, uh, kind of a pearl white paint on it that looks good. It's got the rally wheels on it. Of course, the front end all works good. I want to tell you, when you drive this thing, it's solid, it's tight, doesn't rattle, goes down the road really nice, chrome grill on here, all this looks real good. Front end here, everything here looks really good. I, I can't see a lot of stuff. There was some chips in the paint and everything on this thing uh, when we, uh, we got it. Uh, mainly because you got tires on here to throw rocks up. Andrew's brush touched them. There's one right there. And there was, there's more stuff around here and there that uh, he didn't get. I see there's a couple of brush touches right there. So you, you got a few instances there. Now this windshield, you loosen this up and the other side up and you can tilt the windshield out if you want to. And of course to open the door, you got to reach inside here to the handle right there. And again, closes nice. All this looks good through here. I mean, everything, again, we had, and there's still some rock chips you can see in places here. And again, it's mainly from throwing uh, stuff up from these tires. But overall, it looks really good. I don't know what, I don't know if it had a radio in it or a CB radio or what. This could come off real easy. We've got the Nerf bar uh, rear bumper on here. There's a little bit of chipping right here. Along in here you can see, and I, there's a crack right in there. So you got the third uh, brake light on here. This, of course, is the gas filler right there. The trunk, you have to go up here, and there's a lever underneath the seat. You reach down in underneath the seat here. And you can open that trunk up. And the trunk has got a rod in here. You bring up from this side here. It's got a spot right there to put it in. Now there's your battery box right back here. And you can see we got a car cover with it. It's carpeted. You're looking for the wiper blade. It's right there. And you can see it's uh, got insulation in here, so we assume we got insulation in other other spots of this uh, rig, also. So it just drops down. And again, I can't show you a, a bunch of bad things on this car because there just isn't much. The thing uh, all looks good. Everything looks good along here. Again, there's some spots in here where there's some rock chips. Uh, Andrew's uh, put them, uh, touched them up a bit so they look a lot better. Anyway, you can see the door closes good. Now I want to show you the VIN tag on this car. This has got a Washington 
state uh, Vintag on it. And so the Vintag is right here on the frame and, there, and they also put one right here on the body so he got it on both places. So this is good anywhere you go with a Washington State Vintag on here. And again, you can just see, you'll like the way this thing runs and drives. You'll have a good time driving it. It's sporty and it's, it's quick. Right here is a bad spot in the chrome. Both here, both screw holes right here. There's another one on that side. I just wanted to show them to you. And you can see the interior looks beautiful on here. And it's recent. It was just recently done. It has a tilt column. Horn works. That's pretty neat. A lot of times it doesn't. Uh, you got the uh, emergency brake here. I don't care for the gas pedal quite where it's at. But a guy could do something different with that. I like the brushed uh, finish uh, dash on here. And you got the sentry gauges all along. And the uh, key for this is right underneath here. I, it always starts really nice. You can see the gauges all work, the back works and everything. I mean, it just starts every time like that. Now the, the wiper switch is right down here. It's working right now. It's underneath the dash. Headlight switch is all the way down on, on the, underneath the dash there. You see the lights come on outside there. You got the turn signal indicator right there on both sides. This is, of course, is a high beam. You can see that all works. I mean, this, this car, everything works just nice on it. Now this is not a big thing, but right in the front of the seat, there's a little switch right there you can pull. So you can get back here and you've got a little bit of storage for a map or something in here. You can't, you're not gonna put much in there. And it'll only go back so far, so you gotta take, pull that lever back. And right underneath the center of the seat, all the way on the carpets down there, is where the uh, trunk release is at. And you can see the carpets all look good in here. I just, I'm just, I like this car. It's fun. This is the top for the uh, uh, 32. It's light. It doesn't weigh anything. It uh, bolts on on each side right here. Snaps down in the back so you only have two bolts to hold the whole top on. And you can see it's fairly new. It looks good on there. It's a cloth uh, canvas top. We'll start it up. And of course, we showed you the light switches underneath the dash, and that's the. Uh, and I can get my foot on those light switch, and it turn signals. Left, and now we're on the right turn signal. We showed you the horn works. The wiper is right down underneath the dash, and it's moving. If we had the wiper arm on it, who's taking it out in the rain anyway? I like the way this starts every time. So there's your uh, tail lights, left turn signal, right turn signal. Oh, and the brake light right there. This 32 on, on the underside, it looks real good. I mean, you can see everything's fresh and new and it isn't too old. And, and of course, you, there's rock chips in here in the paint and on places, this undercarriage and the rear end, this all looks good. I like the way they set it up and the shocks. Uh, there's a fuel filters, uh, or I should say the electric fuel pump right up in there. You can see how they put all this together. The exhaust system is flanged on both ends there. These, uh, the floor pans under here, of course, it's all glass, but it's, the framework looks all real good and everything. It, uh, 
it looks good. I, I'm impressed with how, how well this thing is and clean it is. I mean, all this looks good on the rear end, drive shaft, all this framework out here. I mean, and it got, I see we, on the stabilizer on the, on the uh, rear end there, going across. So they, they did a nice job of engineering this, uh, this car. It looks, it looks decent. And we're getting up here in the front end here. You can see the big oil cooler there for the, uh, on the transmission. And uh, this is, of course, the rear monitor mount. It's got power, disc brakes, and it's a split brake system. So a master cylinder, here's a uh, valve for, a portioning valve for it. And it's got the C6 uh, automatic transmission in here. And look at it, they've got the heavy duty uh, uh, B&M uh, pan on here with lots of fins to help keep it cool and everything. Of course, this is a nice light car, so it isn't gonna be heavy. Uh, and all this, I mean, all this engineering on this thing looks really good. Uh, and you can see, and I mean, this pan, you can just see, it just, the bolts up in here are fresh all the way around. There's a Ford stamp. It's not all beat and banged up like most of them you see on the underside. You can tell it's a brand new uh, crate engine from the way it, it, it all looks in here. Everything looks good across here. And, all, and of course, then you've got this front end in here you can see is uh, four bar. And uh, it's got a solid axle with a leaf spring across. To, uh, so it's old style in a lot of ways. And it, it runs and drives good. Well, we're going up onto the freeway now and heading north on I-5. So this will give you a chance to see how well this thing runs and drives, and it runs really well. It drives nice too. I don't care for the gas pedal location, but that's something that can change and it may work just fine for you. <laughs> it's got some horsepower. Of course, it isn't very heavy either, so it runs really well. Well, this gives you a good chance to see it going down the freeway. I want to tell you, it's a neat car, and I, it's probably noisy with a because I don't have any windows on the side, so I can't quiet it down enough. So hopefully you can hear it well, but more than likely, hopefully you can see it well. Stops good too. shows 50 and it's doing 52 on the speedo. Step on it one more time for you. <laughs> what a fun car. <laughs> That's the kind of car that'll give you the giggles. Now we're going to show you the uh, right side of this car so you get a chance to take a look at it. I can't help myself. I had to step on it again. My wife doesn't go fast enough for me. <laughs> oh well, it works good. 
We're back to Drager's Clubhouse, and I hope you had a chance to see how this thing runs down the freeway just fine. Anyway, we're uh, more than happy to have you come take a look at it. That's always the best, is to see them in person and make sure that uh, you know what you're looking at. I'm Andrew Drager, and if you have any questions about this vehicle, please don't hesitate to call or email us. I'm Jerry Drager, and we're a father-son team, and we hope you enjoyed the video and uh, understand that we really try really hard to go over the vehicle with this video to show you everything. Doesn't mean that I get every single spot or anything else, but I try, and Andrew and I both work really hard to make sure the vehicles are in top shape before they leave here. You got any questions, always give us a call or email us. We'd be more than happy to talk to you. We really invite you to come see them. And if you can't, you should have them inspected. I think it's really important to make sure you understand what you're buying.